Groot Island is covered in long stretches of white sand, blue water. It is full of cultural heritage sites that are extremely important. It's great to see Sea Shepherd back here on their second marine debris campaign. It's very enjoyable to work alongside them and it makes a huge impact. We're here on the beautiful Anadoliaqua in the Groot Archipelago with six Sea Shepherd volunteers and we're heading out to do just over 10 days of clean up with the Anadoliaqua Land and Sea Rangers. Through the dry season we experience a high level of debris loading. It's this time of year when Sea Shepherd come and help us to clean up the beaches and it makes a massive difference. Sea Shepherd have been able to come out to work within the Indigenous protected areas of the Anindaliaqua people and work alongside the traditional owners to keep these beaches pristine. Last year was the first time that Sea Shepherd came to Anindaliaqua and I was lucky enough to be part of this campaign and I remember seeing the amount of plastic pollution on the beach and thinking I had never seen that ever in my life before so I was quite shocked by the amount of plastic pollution. We start the day early and we head out and spend between six and eight hours cleaning up on the beach. Everything we remove from the beach is then weighed. Once we've weighed it, we put aside 10% of that, which is then sorted and counted. We then put that into our database, which is shared with CSIRO, so that all that data is usable by any interested parties. We are extremely lucky to live and work on the Groot Archipelago. We've got beautiful coral reefs, we've got white sandy beaches, we've got beautiful clear creeks running off into the water. It is awesome to have Sea Shepherd here helping us try and keep these places as pristine as they are capable of being. It is such an honour to be here to support the rangers in their work through the Indigenous Ranger Coastal Cleanup Project. They are the warriors out there on the front line and the people most skilled and most well positioned to be able to tackle this issue where it is the most serious around Australia. It's really opened up the door to some serious action on plastic pollution. If this was my local beach in Sydney, you'd obviously hear about it in the news and in the media. But the fact of the matter is that this problem is out of sight and out of mind. The problem is devastating the environment and the Australian public need to be aware. I've come to Groot Island to run coastal surveys. During these coastal surveys, we run three transects and do some site information. And those transects are two metres wide and they go from the water's edge to the backshore vegetation. We record everything we see. From that information, we can determine where hotspots are around the Australian coastline for marine debris and for Groot Island. It's been great working with the Anandiliakwa Land and Sea Rangers and Sea Shepherd. What's really interesting about running cleanups alongside surveys is that we really get to see what's happening year after year. It's pretty dawning to turn the corner on a new area of beach and just see the never ending pile of marine debris in front of you. But it's definitely rewarding when you look back at the progress that's been done and to see the pristine beach that you left behind. We're finding spools, we're finding what's left of giant fishing nets that were kilometres long. And then we get all the single use items, whether they be water bottles, we got lighters, bottle caps, always one of our top items, two stroke oil bottles. This is one of the most numerous items we find on these beaches. To wake up this morning and walk out onto this beautiful headland and see this is just heartbreaking. A lot of this gear that is used for fishing is designed to last for a long time and that's exactly what is happening. 
Slowly over the years, these items do begin to break up into millions of microfibers into the ocean. During our beach cleans, we find many lines and nets on the beaches. Often these are very, very large items. They often require a lot of equipment and a lot of teamwork for us to get them out. It's incredibly upsetting and disappointing to see so much rubbish washing up on these remote coastlines that should be pristine and untouched. You see turtles getting washed in with nets. You see bites out of plastic that's happened out there in the water. It really hits hard when you know the impact that it's having on both the people and the ecosystem around it. Removing the marine debris from the beaches helps protect the environment, although it still has to go somewhere. It is time there is an alternative solution to single-use plastic.